Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to episode number 26 of KMA's Jams. Just another Minecraft series. And as if you've been paying attention, as if you have been, <laughs> as if, um, you would notice I've been trying to build a guardian farm. And I ran out of something. I'm going to get a little bit farther away from that that uh portal there because it's loud almost like my face ah but anyways um i ran out of gold i needed gold and i need a ton of gold i don't need like five ingots of gold i need like 600 ingots of gold so i have to put the guardian farm on hold and i need to make a gold farm so that's why we're in the nether, we're making gold farms, and gold farms are so much fun. So how do you do a gold farm in 1.9? Because you can't get above the, the nether ceiling. But let me show you how. I've already done it, but I will recreate it for you right now. Give me a second and let me get my stuffs. So I always like to have my uh, hole to the nether roof right next to where my main base spawn is and this is my main base spawn this is my main hub there's a tunnel that goes down to the nether floor and there's a new tunnel going up to the nether top and I'll clean this up because I'm still working on this so this will be a room of some sort I don't know it's I mean it's the nether roof so you can't really do much over here and over here where you see that demon face or that duck build I don't know daffy duck looking face right there this is where I'm going through the nether ceiling right there um, to work on the gold farm. And the reason why you choose a place like this, I'm standing at 125. So this block that I am looking at should be 127. It says over there looking at 1, 127, 1, and 23. Um, 127 is the block you need to be looking at. That means there's only one block between down here and the nether ceiling. And you need a place that has at least a two by one area and um, at level 125 where you stand or level 126. And basically what you need to do, I'm just going to turn that off, <clears throat> is put a powered rail on a block at level 126. You know, this block is at 125, this is at 126, and that's 127. And you put a minecart on it. And across from the minecart, you need the ladder on the other block that's at 126. So, you got the down, and you just hit power here, and it will push the minecart across over to the ladder. Just like that. So the, now the minecart is suspended there. And uh, it's nice to, you know, mark off the block that you want to stand on. And then you look towards the ladder, you jump into the minecart and hit jump. And um, I think you have to hit shift to scrunch yourself also. Then hit jump and forward all at the same time and you'll get through to the nether. You'll take a little damage like that. And there... I am. I've already made this, so I already know that this is where my portal is. When I came up, I stood where I was. I put half slabs around. Then you put a normal block in the center and another track. I don't have anything. I can't really show you this. So you put a regular block in the center, another track on top, then place the cart on the track. Then you break the block underneath and it falls down into this half slab thing. So this is my way to the nether top. And make sure when you do this, you bring some obsidian so you can get back and when you make the uh, the um, the portal it should bring you back to their main base portal for me because this is where I started from my main base so that is how you get onto the nether top there's other ways you can do it but that's my favorite way until they figure out a better way I wish um, I love the sunsets in this texture pack. I wish um, that I could actually have a hole there and just put a ladder and just 
go through instead of taking damage because there is a chance I might die and having all this good gear on me kind of worries me a little bit so I'm gonna um, take a nap and get work on the farm and I'll show you what I've done so alright guys there is the big floating donut in the sky it is amazing um, when you see this now you understand that I am doing snow crashes design this is the best design I think right now I have never made this before but it's so far infinitely much easier than the other gold farm kinda there's a lot of blocks to be placed but it's a great um, it's a great farm or it should be a great farm so hopefully it stays that way and I will show you talk to you when I get to the top and kinda explain how it works alright so here I am at the top I've only got two levels or actually the two levels are not even completely done yet I still have some more to do on the second level and then there's gonna be a third spawning platform on top of these and as you see they all form pretty quickly um, over here will be right here where there's no thing there and you know I could fall down to my death um, is where you're gonna stand <coughs> and aggravate these pigmen and then they are gonna run at you and jump down to their deaths and then their XP will be shot up to you while you're standing on an AFK platform there but I'm still in the process of making the platforms here and it's it's pretty slow going um, because as you see this is a pretty big area to do so thankfully I have done the guardian farm hey chicky 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 and um, have received a huge quantity of blocks that I can make this out of so it's no big deal that I'm making this out of stone brick because I got 10 double chests of this stuff right now so um, so basically I am gonna finish up the next two platforms then you're gonna have to put a layer of glass on top I don't have any of my weapons with me just my mending thing so I do my best not to be seen by these guys <sighs> yeah don't go aggro on me but I'm gonna get back to work or I'm gonna run away I don't want to be shot off this thing it's our it's automatically when you build one of these things it's an automatic you're gonna get at least five deaths from falling to your death so it's good not to have the stuff that you want and with these things shooting at you it's no fun yeah yeah you no fun you make my life no fun go away next time I come up here I'm gonna bring my arrow and my bow and just start attacking these guys back because I can't just ignore them all the time because they as you see he just popped another one just popped in so yeah fun fun and we don't want these aggroed while you're trying to build something like this but as you see the amount of pigmen that are formed up here this will be uh, an amazing farm if everything works as it's supposed to so I'm going to get to work and uh, give you some progress reports in a minute so the uh, gold farm is done and basically I uh, it lags my computer out big time I can't um, the pigmen they don't move smoothly they move a little rough but it's probably my computer um, it does say I'm getting 60 frames but it doesn't look like I'm getting 60 frames so my thoughts now that this is done is that yes um, if you see my bar I have 110 levels of experience so yes that is excellent but it's not as good as the one that doesn't work anymore by impulse um, and I do have a couple of spawning spaces still down here for the pigmen I don't know where they're coming from but I always gotta be a little careful when I come down here I actually killed myself and <laughs> doing this because as you see it's kind of hitting the when I shoot the arrows it's kind of hitting this ladder I'm stuck on the ladder and it hits the ladder and it slows down so I shot an arrow once and I went down and I got myself and I burnt to death in the crisp I'll put up the uh, image of my death screen there I thought it was kind of funny KMA's corner was burnt to a crisp whilst fighting KMA's corner <laughs> so yeah I thought that was kind of funny so um let me just 
Things get stuck in here, but you can stand right here and they go into your inventory, which is kind of a... I mean, I'm being nicky picky. It's kind of cute watching the little pigmen jump around. Oh, bye bye. Come down. But seeing my computer is having trouble rendering this, it comes out a little weird. Um, but that's okay because I'm not in here for looks. I'm in here to get gold. So how is this on gold? Um, here's my little dispenser that I throw the gold into lava here. Or not the gold. The stuff I don't want. I've already got my double chest of uh, flesh, so I'm just not even collect any more, more of that for now but on the gold wise um, it does pretty good um, I would say it's about as fast as the other one but I am a little discouraged because I see pieces uh, flying around I would say about five percent of it gets lost but compared to what was going on before um, it's not bad I'm just gonna bring a sword just in case anything's down here and also when I go down here um, let's see ya a lot of stuff down here a lot of XP a lot of gold a lot of stuff so I don't know um, it is better than nothing much better than nothing I would say if this would be the gold farm I would build, but I was spoiled with Impulse's gold farm because it was so awesome, and this one still needs um, work, but if you don't have a gold farm, this is the way to go. So I, um, I basically AFK up top, I'll show you how it works, uh, for 5-10 minutes while I watch somebody stream or something, and I come and get the stuff down here <clears throat> dump everything that I don't really need then go back up to the the thing in AFK again um, in the last gold farm I didn't have to go down here or kill extraneous pigmen spawning on places that they're not supposed to spawn but I've also noticed that this 1.9 is very laggy especially with um, pistons and stuff and you saw it with my melon farm. Every time the melons get destroyed, pistons push the dirt up, and the dirt stays there suspended in time, and it's just an artifact of your imagination, and it's not really like that. And this farm is suffering from the same thing, but, like I say, it's a freaking gold farm. You'll, you can get over it. <laughs> you know? Um, so basically, to finish off my other farm, my end... My water temple I need uh, stacks of gold out to here then I can go finish that off and then I can work on the rest of my water temple so like um, how can I show this off well first off there's actually <laughs> I'm talking about pistons and stuff there's actually only one piece of packed ice here it shows two so let me go like this real quick load back in see there's one <laughs> I think when I go when the thing um, gets despawned because I'm so far away it forms another one somehow and but it's really just a figment of your imagination don't really have to worry about it um, basically you upset these guys and you stand here they don't seem upset right now that's good there are uh, platforms I think the radius is 10 blocks to the edge there and it's another 27 blocks to the edge over there so what's that 27 plus 20 47 plus 27 so what's that 74 blocks from that end to that end so um, it does have a huge amount of spawning platforms there's one two three layers some stairs to get to where they need to pathfind to this over here which is only one wide one thing wide and they come out here and they they see me through here and I hide over here in a corner and they come after me and then they fall down the chute here which goes down there which will kill them um, they can't reach me here at all can't get hurt here the only thing that I have to worry about is gas spawning but since I put this glass layer on top no gas has spawned and Nether and I've AFK'd a lot here. Um, gotten a double stack of gold 
already. A double chest of gold ingots are ready from this farm, and I'm still <laughs> needing more for some power rails. Didn't think I needed that much gold. So it, it forms it, then you aggravate them, and then they all start running towards you via the stairs and pathfinding. So what happens is they fall down this chute, which is filled with glass. There's actually two chutes, one for the pigmen to fall down and one for the XP to come back up. As you see, the pistons are shooting stuff up, but there's nothing in there to shoot. I wonder why you are stuck there. I'm going to guess that's just the figment of my imagination. So the pigmen fall. Ah! little parkour they fall where are they falling they fall right here um, let that go back right next to the slime block they usually die if not this piston pushes with the block and it crushes them and when their stuffs fall they it goes into that hopper there which then goes into this um, little item sorter which I got it separated into three things ingots little bars and uh, flesh rotten flesh because we gotta like the rotten flesh and at the time it crushes and pushes the XP across this packed ice onto this slime block so what happens obviously this is on a clock and there's the clock right there it's not a long clock at all um, I'm gonna put an on off button on this so it doesn't lag out the world I don't know if this keeps running even if I'm in the overworld but to make be sure I'm gonna put an on off button onto that clock so it stops when I'm not out here, but that's for another day. So it pushes the XP and stuff over at where this slime block is, and periodically this slime block shoots up, and there's a pigment stuck in there right now. What happens, it goes up into this double slime uh, piston. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a good view of it. Let's see. Um, there's two pistons, one that pushes this slime block in that way, and it also pushes this piston that way and so when this piston gets there there's a redstone thing that activates this pistons power and pushes it up north and for some reason with the mechanics of certain stuff including XP uh, the balls get pushed up there and this piston pusher pushes it up to where you're standing up there so it works pretty well not as well as impulse again but it is probably the best working gold farm for 1.9 right now so I give this a definitely make this because any farm that will give you over a hundred levels of XP um, for you know AFK in and 1.9 is good so I always put my extra gear here because I don't want to lose any of my stuff anymore so anytime I AFK I take everything off and become naked in the world and down here I'm making this is where the platform is going to be and I'll move the portal over here to this platform and add chests down here there's going to be four or five layers of chests so and this will be the main platform for everything and I think I will eventually get rid of this platform completely standing here and that will be the thing and that will be done on a different episode other than today I can't use color. So, um, basically, that is it. That is the gold farm. Um, it is done procedurally, but not aesthetically. I like the mechanics of it. It's not 100% sure, and not 100% not um, with its, you know, filling of the chests and stuff, because you do lose some stuff, but for what we have right now, it's the best that we have, and it is a really nice design by Snow Crash, and I'll put the link to his tutorial. It's not really a tutorial, it's a wor world download. And I basically rebuilt it, just jumping back and forth between the two worlds and recreating it block by block. But I suggest you do make this unless something else in the next couple of months comes out that is pretty good. 
that can replace this but right now this is the best we got and I'll take it I gave it a B minus overall um, I gave impulses other gold farm that does not work in 1.9 and a this is a B minus um, still very good but could things could be done better or stuff and I don't know how to fix those things and I don't even know if they are fixable but till next time have a great day I hope you enjoyed the show this is Keith from KMA's Corner episode number 26 from KMA's Jams just another Minecraft series and I hope this is episode 26 <laughs> have a great day goodbye <laughs>